Pregnant women and other patients who want to access the University of Cape Coast Hospital have been left frustrated. The Federation of University Senior Staff Association uh, at the University of Cape Coast has withdrawn essential and critical services that include the hospitals and schools. Over 6,000 members of the association and 10 public universities laid down their tools on May 19 in protest over poor working conditions and the failure of our government to pay accrued pensions. But despite government's assurance of further negotiations during their meeting, the association insists it will remain on strike. Richard Kwejunyako went around the University of Cape Coast uh, campus and reports apart from the hospital, most of the classrooms at the university basic schools were without teachers and students have taken over the teaching of their peers. On the campuses of the University of Cape Coast, the strike by the Federation of the University Senior Staff Association was having a huge impact as members of the Federation who work at the University Hospital have withdrawn their services. Pregnant women who had come to be seen by hospital officials were left unattended to. As a pregnant woman, there you know that sometimes there will be complications. Even if there is none, Krana, you have to come so that you see that your baby is healthy or not. But here we are. I came here around five. Then nothing is showing. I'm still sitting here. And they are telling us that the continental booths are finished because they have to go and take it from stores. And the stores people are also on strike. So because of that, no one can take care of her. Even the junior staff people cannot take care of her because there is no book for them to take the records inside. So we are just sitting here hoping that someone can come here to help us. It's, it's very difficult. Some of us have to go to work too. And we've left work coming to take care of ourselves here and only to be told because they are on strike, nothing can be done to us. The situation was no different at the University Basic School. The teachers who belonged to the Federation were not in class when the task force went round ripping their members into line. The school pupils expressed their worry and called for something urgent to be done. The teachers are gone and as we are in the class, we are not doing anything. All we are doing is fooling them and one day, one day, we will not get any job to do. The, the strike has affected our teachers and some of them are not even coming to school. So I will appeal to the government that they should try and stop the strike and pay them with their money so that we can get learning. Effective. Director of the University Health Services, Dr. Evans Ekenam, says his outfit was doing all it can to contain the situation, but pleaded with the authorities to see to the end of the challenge. Uh, the manpower that we need, those experienced hands, we don't have them on the ground and it's really a problem. We've had to refer many of our cases to the, uh, to the teaching hospital and uh, uh, that is not the best. That is not the best. So we are really feeling the impact on the ground. And, uh, we, but we still continue to do our work because we are health professionals. Uh, we are like military people. No matter what it is, we have to keep uh, protecting our people. And that's the job we are still doing on the ground. Chairman of the University of Cape Coast Federation of the University Senior Staff Association of Ghana, Sandy Kumisinatra, says they won't relent until their demands are met. I'm highly impressed uh, looking at the compliance level of our members. Almost all of them are at home and we encourage them to continue to do that for us as we also do our best as leaders to make sure that our demands are being pressed home. Uh, unfortunately, no, that is not what we wish for the people. We wish that the academic calendar will not be disrupted, that uh, people can go about their normal duties without any disruption. But unfortunately, uh, <laughs> where we are, we have no better option than to rope them in to strike, to press on our demands. The work of the task force has not been ended. Uh, it is now that we have even re-engineered them to go down to the grounds and do their work and do it effectively to make sure that none of our members comes to work so that the effects that we all anticipate will be achieved. As the Federation has withdrawn the critical and essential services, the strike is becoming extremely biting. Patients and parents are calling on government to act to avert any unfortunate occurrences. Reporting for Joy News, Richard Kwejunyakun, Cape Coast.